Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I lead our developer education team at Netlify. Now, something we don't talk a ton about in the community is using Netlify's API. Now, you can actually do a ton of very cool things with Netlify's API, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started. Let's dig in. Now, for most of what you're going to use the API for, you're going to need authentication, and you get authenticated using a personal access token. And you can get to your personal access token by clicking on your user and then clicking user settings and coming over here to applications. You can scroll down a little bit to find this personal access token section and click new access token. Go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call mine API test number one. And then for security reasons, we recommend that you choose a finite expiration time. I'm just going to leave mine at seven days, which is the default for now. Then I will generate the token. And then this is what we're going to copy and you can take it and store it someplace safe because after you click done, you're not going to have access to it again. Yes, I realize this is a sensitive value that I'm showing to you on screen, but don't worry. I'm going to delete it right after recording this video. And now I can copy this, click done. And now I have what I need to be able to access the API on behalf of my Netlify user. And to do that, let's use the curl command. We'll pass an authorization header. And this is where we will paste in the token. Now, if you're going to do this in a repeatable way and for security reasons, you want to store that token in an environment variable. In this case, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna paste it directly so you can see how it could be used. And then we will pass our API endpoint. And so that is api.netlify.com slash API slash V1. And let's list out our sites. So slash sites is that endpoint. And there we go, I get a ton of information. All of that site data comes directly back to me. Now, if we wanna make it a little bit more readable and format it, you can also take that response and you can pipe it into a JSON file that you store directly on your machine. For example, let's run that command again, and let's say mysites.json. And when that command completes, you can open up your favorite code editor, format that file, and you can see that all of your data is now available in this mysites.json file. So that's it. That's all you need to get started with Netlify's API. So go build, share those creations with the world, and happy coding. I'll see you next time.